click to subscribe button and press the bell icon to become a billionaire. Welcome to the Billionaire Club, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Just click to subscribe button if you want to become billionaire. What's up billionaires? Glad to see you again. What would you do if you had more money than you could ever spend in a lifetime? Travel the world and visit every country? Donate huge amounts to charity? Buy the largest collection of gold chains and start rapping about your lifestyle. Maybe you could buy a mansion, put a moat around it and fill it with hungry alligators to protect that fat stack of cash. Either way, we all dream of the day we can live large, relax on the beach, and never have to worry about money again or watch this video. Let's start. On number 10, we have Steve Cohen's 14-foot preserved shark, cost $8 million to $12 million. Plenty of rich people have impressive fish tanks. But that's child's play compared to laying claim to your own pickled shark. In 2004, billionaire hedge fund manager Steve Cohen bought what just might be the world's most unique piece of contemporary art. A 14-foot tiger shark preserved with a combination of alcohol and formaldehyde, originally purchased for $93,000 in 1992 by art mogul Charles Saatchi. Cohen bought the piece officially called The Physical Impossibility of Death in the Mind of Someone Living, more than a decade later for an undisclosed amount, which New York Magazine reported to be between $8 million and $12 million. On number 9, we have Mukesh Ambani's home, cost $1 billion. The Indian magnate used $1 billion of that fortune to build the most expensive home in his native country and the entire world. According to Forbes, Ambani's residence is a 27-story, 400.000 square foot skyscraper that boasts three helicopter pads and six underground parking levels, named after the mythical island of Antilla. Its amenities reportedly include a ballroom, a 50-seat theater and nine elevators in the lobby alone. About 600 staff members are required to maintain Ambani's mega mansion. On number 8, we have Roman Abramovich's super yacht cost $1.2 billion. If boats are a competition, billionaire Russian oligarch Roman Abramovich wins, hands down, among his toys are a Boeing 767, an ice boat and the legendary Chelsea football club, the grandest possession of them all, however, is his claim to the world's largest and most expensive yacht, the Eclipse, launched in 2010. The Eclipse boasts 6,000 square feet of living space across 11 staterooms and suites. If you miss her when she leaves port, don't worry. You can park your chopper on her three-helicopter landing pad. Need to abandon ship quickly? No sweat. The boat's three-person submarine can dive to 160 feet. On number 7, we have Larry Ellison's Hawaiian Island. Cost $300 million for the richest of the rich. Even the grandest mansion simply won't do, for Oracle founder Larry Ellison. Home is the Hawaiian island of Lanai, which he picked up in 2012 for a cool $300 million. According to CNBC, his tropical paradise includes 90,000 acres, two Four Seasons resorts and a town with a population of 3,200. Considering a stay in one of those resorts, you'll certainly vacation in luxury but it will cost you $21,000 a night. On number 6, we have Prince El Walid bin Talal's Airbus A380 The Flying Palace, cost at least $500 million. Membership in the Saudi royal family's inner circle certainly has its perks. Prince El Walid bin Talal, for example, already owned a $220 million Boeing 747 but in his world, that's small potatoes, in 2007. He paid $319 million for an A380 double-decker super jumbo jet the world's largest passenger aircraft. He ordered upgrades including space for his horses and two Rolls-Royce cars that sent the sticker price soaring past $500 million before it was even ready, however. He sold his newest toy to an undisclosed buyer. On number 5, we have Bill Gates' scientific scribbles by Leonardo da Vinci cost $30 million. Bill Gates and Leonardo da Vinci have a lot in common. They're both math geniuses who also changed history. It's only fitting, then, that the Microsoft founder would be interested in the musings of the original Renaissance man, in 1994. 
Gates spent $30.8 million to own the Codex Lester, a 72-page manuscript that da Vinci compiled in the early 16th century, complete with the master polymath's diagrams, writings, sketches and ideas for future inventions. On number 4, we have the Sultan of Brunei's car collection, cost $5 billion, it's good to be a Sultan, need proof. Just take a look at the collection of cars owned by the Sultan of Brunei, who rules a country smaller than the state of Delaware. His legendary fleet contains between 5,000 and 7,000 of the world's rarest, finest, best performing and most expensive cars, which top speed values at a combined $5 billion at least. Among the finest gems are 21 Lamborghinis, 452 Ferraris and 604 Rolls Royces, including the Star of India. A $14 million Rolls convertible that has the distinction of being the world's most expensive car. On number 3, we have a Jocelyn Wildenstein's Plastics R3, cost $4 million, in her prime, Swiss socialite Jocelyn Wildenstein hunted with a Saudi arms dealer, dated a European filmmaker, explored Africa and was awarded $2.5 billion in a historically epic divorce. Her true passion, however, is written all over her face literally. Wildenstein is now in her 70s, and her bizarre and self-inflicted appearance is an often cited cautionary tale about excessive and obsessive plastics are three, according to the Mirror. Wildenstein spent $4 million throughout the course of her decade's long physical transformation. On number 2, we have Seeing Your Name on the Moon, cost $5 million, Sheikh Hamid, a multi-billionaire member of the Abu Dhabi's ruling family did just this. He has always shown off his wealth in extravagant ways, but this may be the most extravagant. Hamid hired a team of engineers to carve his name on his private island. He carved his name so large. It was over two miles long and half a mile wide. Not only this, he created a canal where the ocean tide would come in and fill his name making it even more visible. His goal was to make his name visible from the moon. No one really knows why he did this, but it's said he wanted to shout his name to the heavens. One thing is for sure, he has a lot of money and too much time on his hands. On number one, we have a man who spent $24,000 a month on haircuts. Sultan of Brunei can afford the most expensive haircuts in the world. Hassan al Bolkaya found his favorite hairstylist back in the early 90s. After getting a haircut from him, he refused to have anyone else cut his hair. Every month he flies his favorite barber out in first class has him stay in five-star hotels, eats gourmet food, and pays him thousands of dollars for a simple trim. There's nothing special about his hair, it's just a simple comb-over, in total with the cost of the 7,000-mile round trip, hotel accommodations, and food.